so this video is going to answer two questions um, that people have asked so well maybe three so one of them one question was how do we figure out chirality on rings so i'm going to do a couple of wing, ring structures what if both sides of the molecule look the same is it still chiral and the answer to that is no um, you have to have four different distinct groups around the carbon so we'll do one of those um, and then how do you know if something is a chiral center so all of those things kind of come together so i'm doing it as one so i'm going to do one of those first so the first thing i'm going to do this question about if the groups are the same on both sides is it still chiral and again the answer is no you have to have four distinct groups so I have the sulfur being one group and that's actually if you were prioritizing it would not be number one and nitrogen so what do we do about the carbon so you have two different carbons aside two carbons attached on the on different on either side and currently their CH2s attached to other carbons, uh, another carbon, so they're identical. So what you would need to do is because they're at both atomic numbers are 12, you would look to what's attached. So we already know that there's two hydrogens attached on both, plus they have one carbon attached on both. So they're still identical. So from there, you have to look at what the carbons attached to them look like. So I look next door and those carbons are both attached to CH3s. Because they're identical, if you were to build this model and rotate it, this model molecule is a chiral. It has no chiral center. However, if I were to change this molecule, and if all I did was add one more carbon onto this, all I did was take the same molecule. So remember, I went over to the CH3, but on this one, instead of a CH3, it has another carbon attached to it. So this would have the higher of the priority. So we would give it the higher priority. So this molecule would be chiral because it has a chiral center. And, that, and the molecule has no plane of symmetry. No plane or axis of symmetry. Now let's talk about rings. For the same reason that um, the first example is not chiral, so is this ring. If you were to take something like that, I'm going to put an OH actually. So you would again determine do you have four different groups? So this one might be a little bit more obvious because I just draw in the bromine. But remember, there's an understood hydrogen, which is the same idea. So here you might think, oh, is this a chiral center? So we look, both of these are carbons. They're both CH2s with another carbon. So if I look next door, they're the same, and if I keep looking, they're the same. So there is a plane of symmetry. It cuts through the bromine and the OH, but there is a plane of symmetry in this molecule. This molecule has no chiral center, just as this molecule has no chiral center. However, if I took this molecule and I changed it so that one side was different than the other, right? So let us say I had put a double bond. So when you go look at these two carbons, this is a carbon bonded to another carbon. Um, and on the other side is a carbon double bonded. So we treat this double bonded side as if not only is it attached to one carbon, but it's attached to two carbons while this one is attached to one. So in terms of the priority, um, we would go with this side. So our priority would be something like this. Now, when you build your model, always build your model to a line exactly like that. So if I were to take, you don't have to build the whole thing. I would take my 
the lowest priority which for me is the red the white and I would take my third priority which for me is always blue and put it flat in front of you but downwards and then make your highest priority your red in this case coming towards you so this should be pointing towards you but up so you would line it just like you would do a normal and then the priority number two which I usually use as green pointing away from you so these two groups should be flat in front of you and the other two should be up but one is back and one is forth you do the same thing for rings whether it's a three-membered ring or it's a six-membered ring or it's a ten-membered ring it's the same thing so maybe try this one on your own one determine if it has a chiral center and then determine your priorities